I don't like this video. No, no. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, not, I, I'm not convinced. I guess I, I guess I don't hate it as much as I hated Cinema Virgin's video, but... Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> I imagine all of EFAB is curious to <laughs> hear your thoughts on that video. I don't know. Should I do that now, or should we wait until the video's done? I don't... I assume I now the, the mere idea of you giving your thoughts on cinematic uh, Venom's uh, video. Cinema I, Virgin. <laughs> they'll, um, they clearly <laughs> fucked the dude at the end, so that can't be true. Yeah, you you, you missed the gay sex? Like, what the fuck? He, he simulated it. He was not into it. You could tell. So, what did you think of that video, Wolf? Tell the people. Okay, so I know that I am seen as the most facetious of probably anyone that has been on this show, much less uh, hosted. Really? Um, yeah, you know, people... I people think I consider myself the most little, facetious. Yeah, people think I'm pretty hyperbolic and all that shit. Oh, that's um, different. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Rags. I'm not dealing <laughs> with your shit tonight. So, um, yeah, you know, there's a... Uh, I'm maybe a little bit hyperbolic on some things, but I gotta say, of literally every YouTuber I have ever seen in the decade plus that I've been using this website, mm. I have never seen anyone worse than Cinema Virgin. I would consider wow. the, worst, the worst, the worst by far. I mean, it I, was pretty bad. I will give you. Wow. He, he, I, I would. So I'm going to quantify this and or qualify this rather in such a way. That is indisputable. First being that he didn't get a single fucking thing right in that entire hour and a half of worthless garbage ass video. He literally stretched so far that he couldn't even manage to pluck a point that made any level of sense. Not even like the it, it, it's insane to me that he managed to make that video without even addressing the points that most people make that are still almost universally incorrect. I don't know, like, you, first off, drop the whole attempt at being Doug Walker, because aside from him not being a good YouTuber and never having been a good YouTuber, it's not someone you want to look up to. You're also not funny in any respect, or intelligent for that matter. Couple that with your inability to make a single cogent point with any supporting evidence and your willingness to accuse the entire EFAP audience of insulting your family that doesn't exist. And Wait, what? He, in, he uh, said that the EFAP audience was attacking his family. Oh, yeah, I don't like, believe that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't believe that yeah. for a fucking second. Well, I don't believe it because I don't believe he has a family in the first place. <laughs> What, you think he paid for that house on his own? <laughs> well, you know, it's all up to your subjective interpretation, of course. Um, the fact that you act like a little bitch when people insult you, when you insulted people it, like every five minutes of your video, goes to show what a spineless loser you are, and a complete tool. You need to get some talent before deciding to make YouTube videos or anything else for the rest of your life and you need to shave off that disgusting hair please, <laughs> please. <laughs> I, mm. okay I, this is a psa to anyone who has thinning hair or mm. receding hairline as someone who had both and then shaved it before it ever got bad so you will save yourself so much self-respect if you just shave the damn thing off rather than pretending like it's ever going to get better it's really embarrassing when you keep it there and perhaps hide it under a beanie or <laughs> don't hide it at all or proudly present it while you are simulating gay sex with your weird pseudo boyfriend, whoever that dude was. <laughs> oh, that was a weird. It's an odd one. So please just shave it off. You might. I mean, you're not going to gain any intelligence from it, unfortunately. I think you yeah. need to go back into the public school system, or any school system for that matter, to gain that. But yeah, I guess I could rip into you, but I'm just too tired to do that. That's not ripping into it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was, that was very reserved. <laughs> you sound like my wife when she talks to our cat. 
the thing is, I, I, I would have had to have been in that call because I'm probably forgetting so much shit that was in that episode that for the most part, the guys broke down pretty well, aside from forgetting a few things they could have brought up and their insult game wasn't half as good as mine would have been. <laughs> if I was there. Not to disparage you, but man, I would have made this person cry and then complain about this <laughs> manic depression. That's another thing. Um, don't tell people you have manic depression as a get out of jail free card. Aside from it being just pathetic on a level that not even a child would go to because they wouldn't know what manic depression is in the first place. It's just really sad that you would use that after insulting people consistently. You can stop your pissy little snipes on Twitter acting like a five-year-old, pretending like you have any say with your audience of four people who actually give a shit about your god-awful content. If you decide to delete comments that are literally just constructive criticism and pretending like people are attacking your non-existent family, you make it a little difficult to sympathize with you. Kind of like it's a little si difficult to sympathize with a guy who pretends like it is uh, body harassment to ask why he's wearing a jacket indoors. Well, there we are. Uh, All right, there you it, have it. This is the thing. Right, right, react to that last part. If memory serves, did he actually make a point? Like a good point, Rags, do you remember? Uh, the I'm, one I'm trying to think if there was a point that he made that was legitimate or at least could be like understandable like wrong but still you know like you like you understand why a lay person would be like oh yeah it's a problem that they didn't ride the eagles to mordor and then you just explain it to them and they go oh. so i don't think, think explaining of... anything to them would work I don't aside think so from either. Basically screeching in a tree about how much he's very disturbed by the gays um, you know i don't i don't think there's any way we can fairness, really the gays are pretty spooky come on I love I love how he's like, guys, I'm totally not homophobic. I just really don't like the gays for some strange reason. I would like it if they were openly gay, but because they're not, because they're literally not gay, that I don't... He doesn't make sense. Oh, that's another thing. There were so many things in that video that didn't make sense. I love how he um, tried to, quote-unquote, call out Peter Jackson for... Um, not including like the most irrelevant character in the entire book series that absolutely no one in their right mind like actually cares that he wasn't there. He didn't even Tom call Bombadil. out. No, not Tom Bombadil. Like not even a character who I even remembered the point of being in the book. Like it would make sense if he said Tom Bombadil. The problem is that he's too stupid to make sense. So he who didn't did he reference. Say? I don't know. I genuinely don't remember <laughs> who it was. It's like I can, I can think of like. The two people that led Pippin through uh, Minas Tirith in the books, they weren't in the movie. I didn't think it was a big deal, but I can understand why people would be a little disappointed in that. And then he didn't even reference uh, Tom Bombadil. He referenced some other guy. I don't even rem remember who it was. Not Hal, dear chat. He... Um, someone, um, someone said Horn Guy. No, Hal, dear. Brand. I think it started with an H, but I can't remember. I'd have to go back and rewatch the video. Uh, but yeah, it was really strange that he would make that argument when like 20 minutes earlier, he was like, I didn't like the books. I didn't think they were supposed to be in there anyway. You sound like Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> there are some who call a dwarf. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Also, fix the hole in your wall. Did you Jared. like that yeah. his favorite characters yeah. were Lurtz, the Rig Wraiths, <laughs> and Krima Wimtung? They were his three oh favorites. Oh my god, dude. Ugh, fucking Harry Potter. I, you know, I don't have that much against Harry Potter, but after watching that, um, that video, I now hate Harry Potter and everything and anyone associated with it. Yeah, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of Harry Potter after that. Yeah, it's like I didn't even really have anything that much against it. Now it I weird. do. He, just kept, he kept appealing to Harry Potter. It was really weird. It's the only it movie you've ever seen. Something. It least Harry Potter means something. 
Do you, are you talking about the franchise broadly or just the books, the movies? Oh, it's just that he kept bringing or, them up wait. as like a counterpoint to Lord of the Rings. Like, hey, this is what Lord of the Rings does. Look at how Harry Potter does it better. He was like, what, what, you, what, stop. Put it down. Sorry, oh, right, yeah. Do anything better than Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'd be, I'd... I don't even know what you would compliment Harry Potter over Lord. It's like he was—he was like Harry is a better character than Frodo. And it's like why are we doing this? Why is it? Why is <laughs> oh my god! And the Gimli wanted Frodo dead. You have like the—I'm you know, not reading comprehension. The perception skills of a fucking dead goldfish. I don't know how you managed to listen to that quote more than once, unless you didn't watch the movies which is probably the case and ever come away with the idea that Gimli wanted Frodo dead and then he listed that as a criticism it didn't even call out why that would be a inconsistent part of the character it's an odd one he didn't even justify his wrong opinion on anything well i he tried to justify the um the the Gimli thing he went through the quote and the scenes like and he a, got it totally I wrong but he tried it's one That's of my favorite shocking. things ever it wasn't a casual thought it was no I checked Gimli wants them dead <laughs> oh <my God>. okay. <laughs> double check to make sure uh, calling Bilbo dildo it's hilarious though it is so funny though oh wow it's it's so it's so creative he he replaced the bees with D's. I'm gonna play some D's. Truly, D's. truly like galaxy brain jokes there. I'm pretty sure I would have died of a violent aneurysm in the middle of streaming if I was with you guys. So it's probably <laughs> good that I wasn't there. Excellent. Yeah, I know those are some very scrambled thoughts. I thought of actually writing something out, but then I was like, no, I probably shouldn't do that because that would just be like getting back into like the reason why I left YouTube in the first place. So yeah, your video was awful. You're awful. Your attempts at sniping at Mahler repeatedly because you're too much of a sour little pussy to come on the show and debate your terrible opinions go to show what a insignificant weasel of a human being you are. And I'm only glad that no one cares enough about your shitty YouTube channel to actually give a shit about this failure of a feud you're trying to start based on your awful video you went after lord of the rings wolf doesn't like when you do it <laughs> i don't like yeah i don't like you as a person and i'd like to confirm that this was you taking it easy on him yes this, this is me, like not not giving enough of a shit to really collect all of my thoughts